Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I released my Dirty Hit vinyl haul, which is linked down in the description and up there, I think I can do that, yeah. And I said in that video that I've been buying a lot of new records, so that's what this video is gonna be, going through the rest of the records in another vinyl haul. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The first record in this haul is an absolutely brilliant gem of a record. I'm so happy that I discovered this artist. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen it, but it is the fantastic latest album release, Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves. Such an amazing voice, brilliant songwriting, as you would expect from, you know, the Nashville country scene, and it's just such, such a good record. I managed to pick this copy up in HMV in Cardiff, and I was really surprised that it was there at first, because I thought that any sort of country music just wouldn't be easily accessible on vinyl in the UK anyway, but then I realized quite how famous Casey Musgraves was, and then it was no surprise at all that it was there. Nice high quality gatefold sleeve. This isn't a double LP, which I was sort of expecting from an artist as big as Casey Musgraves, but it really doesn't matter. Lyrics printed on the inner sleeve as well, and this is a clear record. Well, it's kind of like frosted and clear, I guess, but it's a lovely pressing. It sounds great when you listen to it, and yeah, I thoroughly recommend it. If you haven't listened to Casey Musgraves, do it. Next, we've got the debut album from Billie Eilish, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I've mentioned Billie Eilish a few times in like playlist videos and whatnot. I really, really like her music. I say her music, it's like her and her brother's music, I guess. I'm glad that the full-length record is now out, so when I saw this in a shop, I knew that I had to get it. Similarly to Casey Musgraves, this is a gatefold sleeve, but not a double LP, and it's also coloured. Kind of a weird colour, though. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I I get that it's like, she's edgy and whatnot, so let's give it a weird, edgy color, but it's just this kind of slightly gross orange color. And like, I get that with album artwork like that, you could put any colored record inside it and it wouldn't be a problem, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. But as I've said many times before, the color is not important, it's the music that's on it. And this is a really, really cool record. And the production on there is fantastic. As someone who like makes music myself, it's really interesting to hear music where the production is doing something that you haven't heard before, that is kind of breaking barriers in a, in a sense. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some snobs that would say that it's not doing that. But when I listen to this on a really good pair of headphones, there are so many moments where I'm just like, that is a genius move from the production standpoint. So yeah, that's the next record on this list. Billie Eilish, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Moving away from the more mainstream music, the next record in this haul is by an artist called Leif Volobek and is called Twin Solitude. A few months ago, I was watching a Netflix show called Lovesick, which is brilliant and I'd highly recommend that you watch it. But in one of the scenes, a song called Elegy started playing and I've mentioned this before in playlist videos because he's on my 2019 in music playlist at the moment. But I heard that and knew that I had to get the record. It was just a kind of, if this exists on vinyl, I'm going to buy it because that one song I thought was absolutely brilliant and I listened to a few more and every single one of the tracks that I heard of his, I just absolutely loved. So I picked this up as soon as possible. This is a really nice, probably like reverse board finish because it's matte, but it's like properly matte, not kind of shiny matte. Not a gatefold, just a single sleeve with a four millimeter spine, I believe. Inside we've got the lyrics printed on the inner sleeve and the record is just a standard 180 gram black vinyl. Very nice pressing and even better music. Next, we've got an album that I have loved for so many years and I think I discovered this artist just before I started collecting records properly, but his name is Tycho and the record is called Dive. This has always been a must have for my collection and I think either there weren't any available for years or I just kept forgetting to buy one because it's taken me way too long to get this record. I've had a copy of his second album, I think, Awake for years now, but this one, I just bit the bullet the other day when I saw a copy and purchased it and it's so, so good. If you're into electronic music of any kind, you will 100% find something to love about Tycho. It's so dreamy and soundscape building, but also there are these really cool rhythms and beats that he sculpts, and he has a really distinctive sound. You can almost always tell a Tycho track. It's a double album, but it's not gatefold. It's just single outer sleeve. Each record has got a really nice printed inner sleeve. Tycho, the guy himself, I think his name's Scott Hansen. He has a really interesting story because he, I think, was like a graphic designer for years and just did music as a hobby on the side. But he, as far as I'm aware, does all of the artwork himself and whatnot. And yeah, he's, his graphic design stuff is phenomenal. He's managed to single-handedly create both his own sound and his own aesthetic without ever even meaning to become an artist. So 
yeah, good on him, and the music is brilliant. Standard 180 gram black vinyl for each disc. Great record, would thoroughly recommend it. Only problem is I wish it was a gatefold sleeve because I know that he would have been able to do something really cool with the artwork when it opens up, but oh well, anyway. Yeah, Tycho Dive, that's the next record. Next in this haul, we have the latest full length release from Now Now, Saved. I discovered Now Now a few months ago. Again, I think I mentioned them in a playlist video with reference to the song MJ, which is on here because I was in the gym and I heard it come on a playlist and then I looked them up and yeah, Listen to all of their music, their whole discography is great. I do intend to get more of their music on vinyl, but I decided to go with this release initially because this is the one that I've listened to the most. I love it, there are so many gems on here. And the other thing I really like about this record is that it doesn't just immediately sound really good. There are songs that the more you listen to them over time, you discover more, you hear more intricacies within the production and it's just really, really good sort of indie, synthy rock pop music, I guess you'd say. It's a gatefold pressing, but again, with just a single 180 gram black disc. However, in this, there's actually a lyric booklet. Isn't that nice? You've got some photos accompanying the different lyrics for each track. Love it. So yeah, that's the next record in this haul, Now Now Saved. Moving on from that, we've got a record that's completely different to pretty much all of the others in this haul and in my collection in general, but I think it is absolutely brilliant. It is the latest release from Idols called Joy as an Act of Resistance. Critically acclaimed and for very good reason, I discovered these guys a few months ago and have sort of been hooked on them since then. There's something about like the raw energy of their sounds that I just find so engaging. And I don't listen to a huge amount of this style of music. I mean, I, in terms of its style, people call them punk, but they hate being called punk. And I don't think they're particularly punky. I mean, maybe the vocal delivery comes across as quite punk because it's a kind of shouty, yelly sort of thing instead of like a metal scream. But I wouldn't categorize them as a punk band. I'd probably just say they're like an alternative heavy rock band, I guess. But I, who cares about genres anyway? Brilliant album, absolutely love it. This is, again, just a standard 180 gram black vinyl, lyrics printed on the outside of the inner sleeve, which is really common these days. A lot of people are doing that. I think it's a good way of saving money while still having the lyrics present. So yeah, check out Idols, they're really cool. Now, in a completely different vein to Idols, the next record in this haul is by Max Richter and is called The Blue Notebooks. This is one of Max Richter's sort of pioneering releases and this is the, I think, 2015 anniversary edition. So it's got three extra tracks and two remixes on there as well that weren't in the original release, which was in 2000. Three, I think, or 2002, something like that. Absolutely beautiful music. A lot of people will know his track on the nature of daylight because it's featured at the beginning and end of Arrival, the film that Johan Johansson composed the other music for. This is a record that I'd wanted to get my hands on for a very long time and I was in Sister Ray in London the other day and I saw it and I was just like, yeah, why not? Lovely high quality gatefold sleeve with a whole load of information there about this release and the history of the Blue Notebooks in general. And unlike the other records in this haul, this gatefold is a double 180 gram LP. Although it is on black, vinyl and like that's fine because it's a Dutch gramophone release and they tend to stay away from that kind of stuff in my experience I don't think I've got any Dutch gramophone records that are colored the childish part of me kind of wanted the records to be blue because it's called the blue notebooks I thought that would have been quite nice but Oh well. Anyway, irrelevant. 180 gram black double LP and the quality is fantastic. Next, we have more neoclassical music with Olaf Arnold's album and they have escaped the weight of darkness. I went to see Olaf Arnold's live in the St. David's Hall in Cardiff in March, I think it was. And I can remember looking at the merch stand and seeing this there and I've loved this album for years now. And I was like this close to buying it there, but for some reason I just didn't. I think I got distracted, but I knew that I wanted to get it. So next time I was in London, I went to record shops until I found a copy and that's what this one is here. Nice matte finish, gatefold, single 180 gram disc, black vinyl. And one of the things that I found interesting about this record is that it came with this insert, right? And it's unlike any other insert I've ever seen because of the shape of it really. So it opens out like that. So that's one side and then that's the other side. And I don't know what you're supposed to do. Like, is this a poster? Are you supposed to hang it up horizontally like that? Or it's interesting and I quite like it, but it's very erased tapes. So yeah, Olaf Arnold's and They Have Escaped the Weight of Darkness is the next record on this haul. I would thoroughly recommend you listen to it. It's fantastic. Next, we've got some more erased tapes material with Encores 2 by Nils Fromm. Beautiful collection of music and improvisation from Nils Fromm. I'm a huge fan of his work. And the final track on this, Spells, is just magical because it's this very long form, slowly evolving sort of synthy thing that just builds and builds and builds. And 
you know flows around like that and it's it's such a well, it's a spellbinding piece of music one could say now this is just a single outer sleeve with 180 gram black vinyl inside it but this is like the most matte finish i've ever seen on a record ever i feel like this goes a little bit beyond reverse board printing it's such a lovely quality and just feels really really nice to the touch i mean you can see because i've got soft boxes there and there are just no reflections in this at all you can see exactly what it looks like wonderful collection of tracks from a wonderful composer next record in this haul is a 10 inch which is even more unusual for me to buy than a seven inch single, but it's called The Valley by a duo called Arden. Kind of alternative indie folk music, it's really nice, but part of the reason I got this is because Rob, who is one half of Arden, went to Stroud College at the same time that I did. And I just randomly saw this on Amazon the other day and was like, well, of course I'm gonna buy that. I don't think that Arden are a thing anymore. I think they've stopped making music now, but this is a really nice release on clear vinyl. So yeah, that's the next record, Arden's EP, The Valley. The penultimate record on this list is by an awesome collection of musicians called Volcano Choir and is their album Repave. Now this is a very, very special album to me. When I was at college, I discovered Volcano Choir and I listened to this record on repeat so much. It's such a good collection of songs. Now one of the members of Volcano Choir is Justin Vernon of Bonnie Verse. So you can imagine that if you like Bonnie Verse music, you'll really like Volcano Choir. I love the artwork on this as well because, you know, a picture of a wave in the ocean on a cloudy day isn't a particularly original idea or concept for album art, but somehow they've just made it look really good. But anyway, yeah, this is another gatefold sleeve, but just a single black 180 gram vinyl. And yeah, absolutely fantastic release. I'd really recommend that you listen to this. And I'm so glad that I finally got a copy of this in my collection. And finally, the last record in this haul is an EP called Her by Me. It's a thoroughly mediocre collection of ambient post-rock and neoclassical music with a little bit of electronica thrown in there for good measure. And it came out a long time ago, but the records have arrived now, so yeah. I've got to promote myself, it's the only way I'm going to sell all of these things. As you can see here, it is on a beautiful sky blue 180 gram vinyl. It's limited to 300 copies, of which there are fewer than one third of them left, individually numbered as well. There's also a secret bonus track after a locked groove. Anyway, yeah, that's the final record in this vinyl haul, Her by Thomas James White. If you haven't picked up a copy yet and you wanted to get one, then there'll be a link in the description there to the shop where you can pick one up. Thank you so much to those of you who've purchased copies and have been sharing them on Instagram and everything. It's amazing, genuinely, but uh, yeah, there we go. So that's it. Those, along with all of the ones from my Dirty Hit vinyl haul, are all of the records that I've bought over the last few months. So it's probably gonna be my longest vinyl haul video ever, I think. I didn't realize when I started filming this just how many new ones I'd bought. Anyway, yeah, I can now have fun putting them into my collection properly, because I have like a little section for all of the records that I buy before I make one of these videos, so I don't forget about them, but now I can put them all in there and it'll all look nice and organized, which would be great. Let me know what records you've bought recently or if you have any recommendations for me. I always love discovering new music that you recommend. Have you listened to any of the records I've spoken about today? If so, I'd love to know what you think about them. You know, do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know all of that down in the comment section there. And like I said, in the description, there'll be links to the shop if you wanted to pick up a copy of Her on vinyl. Also be links to it on Spotify and iTunes and a link to my latest single, Switzerland, which came out last month. And on that note, I'm releasing a new instrumental single called In Flight on the 21st of this month. So hopefully you enjoy that when it comes out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you very soon.